In the heart of the whispering woods, little Luna the owl was getting ready for bed under a blanket of twinkling stars. Before sleeping, Luna did- Have you ever thought, there's no way I can make a full animated story video without spending money? Well, surprise, you actually can. And today, I'll show you how to create a complete animated story using only a free Canva account. Yep, no paid tools needed. Let's dive in. So, for today's video, I'm going to do something fun and super beginner friendly. I'll be using a free Canva account to create a cozy little animal story video from scratch. I'm not using ChatGP this time. Instead, I'm starting directly in Canva's Docs option. Here's how it works. At first, you'll just see a plain blank page. But we don't want a blank page. We want a story. So, let's turn this empty file into a prompt box. To do that, I simply click on magic. Right, then in the prompt box, I just paste in my story idea. In this case, a simple bedtime style animal adventure. To make sure the AI knows what I want. I break the story into three parts, beginning, middle, and end. I also define the characters, their species, color, and little details like mood and setting. Also, I want my character to stay consistent. That way, the script is clear and the image prompts later actually match the story. Then hit generate. By the way, I've put a ready-made prompt structure in the description below. You can copy it, tweak the characters and scenes, and instantly generate your own story script with matching image prompts. Super easy. Once the story is generated, just click insert. From there, you can easily tweak the story or adjust the prompt however you like. Now that I've got my story and prompts ready, I open Canva in a new tab and create a fresh design. I select the video landscape option and since my story has six scenes, I added six pages. Of course, if your story is longer, you can just request more scenes in the prompt and add as many pages as you need. Then, from the toolbar, select the Magic Media tool to generate the image. Even on a free account. Canva gives you 20 credits monthly, enough to make a decent number of scenes. Usually, it costs only one credit each scene. And if you run out, you can always make another free account for more credits. Sneaky little tip there. I copy the image prompt from my script and paste it into Magic Media. I set the aspect ratio to a landscape and keep the illustration style mentioned in the prompt. After I click Generate, Canva then gives me four images to choose from. Honestly, they usually look pretty similar. So just grab the one you like best. If something feels off, maybe the character's color doesn't match or the background isn't right, just adjust your prompt and regenerate. A couple of tweaks can make a huge difference. Now, I'll copy the second prompt to generate the next image. Make sure you place it on the correct page for that scene. At first, the result didn't really match the story. So I tweaked the prompt and tried again. And this time, it came out much better. Just repeat this process for the rest of the scenes until all your images are ready. Next up, we need the narration. For this, I'm using a site called Eleven Labs. I've dropped the link in the description for you. With a free account, you get 10,000 credits. Which is more than enough for a short story like this. All you do is paste in your narration text. You can generate it scene by scene or just do the whole thing at once. Then, choose your voice. They've got a ton of really natural human sounding options. Once you find the one you like. You can tweak the settings if you want, but honestly. 
I usually just keep it as it is. Then click generate. If it doesn't sound right the first time, no worries. Just regenerate until it feels perfect. If you're happy with the result, download it as an MP3. After that, I uploaded the narration into Canva. Next, match the narration timing with your scenes. In the heart of the whispering woods, little Luna the owl was getting ready for bed under a blanket of twinkling stars. Just drag the duration so they sync up. Now, just drag the image to fit in the canvas. At this point, the story is almost ready. But I don't want it to feel like a flat slideshow. Let's bring it to life. I click on the image and head over to the animate option at the top. There are plenty of choices. But my favorite is the photo zoom effect. It gives the scene a nice touch of movement and makes it feel more alive. You can apply it to all pages for a consistent look or mix it up and choose different animations for variety. Totally up to your style. I noticed the transitions between scenes felt a little flat. So I will add one to smooth things out. I go with the match and move transition. It keeps the flow natural and adds a nice touch of motion. Then I just applied it across all the pages so everything feels connected. To make it feel more magical. I also add sparkling stars from canvas elements. Just a tiny detail that instantly makes the scene feel magical. I also like to add some gentle background music to make it feel extra cozy. I downloaded the track straight from YouTube Studio. It's free and safe to use. And that's it. I downloaded it as an MP4. And now, let me show you the finished video. In the heart of the whispering woods, little Luna. Before sleeping, Luna decided to take a short flight to say goodnight to her forest friends. Luna flew to the shimmering pond where the frogs were humming a lullaby. Next, Luna visited the wise old tree where the gentle breezes whispered stories of the stars. Luna soared over the blooming meadow, where the flowers swayed softly, their petals glowing in the moonlight. Finally, Luna returned to her cozy nest, her heart full of peace, ready to drift into sweet dreams. Not bad, right? And the best part is all of this was made on a free Canva account. If you found this helpful, do me a quick favor. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a bunch more tutorials like this coming your way, and turning on the notification bell means you won't miss the next one. Thank you so much for watching and happy creating. Thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe my channel.